Hi, this video is going to review the pipelines functionality in the FlowSim solution. Pipelines are the way you get your true CI CD automation within the FlowSim solution. Pipelines, once configured, they are templates that can be used over and over again. As you can see, I have many different pipelines in here that I use doing my day-to-day um, -day work. So I have pipelines to my different test environments. I have my production pipeline. And I also have my back promotion pipeline that I use to push changes back to my sandboxes once it has been successfully promoted to my production environment. So let me show you in my document for a moment. Once I deploy these three features to production, these two features are missing from branch A, etc. So I need to make sure that all of these changes that were released together are now back down in all my sandboxes. So I would lose use that back promotion pipeline to push all my changes back to all my sandboxes. This way everything will be kept in sync with the latest changes so going forward when this developer works on his next branch he will have all of these changes in here as well. As well as any hot fixes as well, the same process. Any hot fixes that are pushed out you would back promote down here as well. So very very easy and powerful way to keep all of your environments in sync. So how the pipelines work I will show you a production pipeline So you see we give you a little chart of what's going on in this pipeline. So what we're doing here, from one button press, it will validate my deployment. If my validation passes, it will deploy it automatically. If my deployment passes, it'll stop because there's nothing else required. But if it fails, it will then go back and do my automatic rollback to that previous version. So one button press will do all of these things. Everything is logged, emails are sent. So I don't have to go in and validate, wait for it to be done, deploy it, wait for it to be done, then oh, I got to roll it back. So it makes it very easy to push a button, get this started, then you can go on and do other things while you're waiting for this to be deployed. So again, another uh, powerful way to do these functionality, but also save you time so you don't have to worry about all these different steps that will be executed automatically for you, and you will get the results for your email once it's completed. As I said, the back promotion pipeline, I have multiple orgs in here, so I do not have to deploy to just one org. I can list many orgs in here. So right now I have my four sandboxes in here that I'm going to push these changes all back to. So very powerful and very flexible on how you do these pipelines to really make it easy for you to deploy your changes from any org to any org or any number of orgs based on what your policies and procedures are. Thank you.